with you today at Exodus 30, verses 34 to 38. Okay, so we're going to finish the chapter. Let's look at these verses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take for yourself spices, stockte, aunkia, galbanum, spices with pure frankincense. There shall be an equal part of each. And with you shall make with it you shall make incense, perfume, the work of a perfumer, salted, pure, and holy. You shall beat some of it very fine and put part of it before the testimony in the tent of meeting where I will meet with you. It shall be most holy to you. The incense which you shall make, you shall not make in the same proportions for yourselves. It shall be holy to you for the Lord. Whoever shall make any like it to use as perfume shall be cut off from his people. So there it is again. Uh, yeah, this is not a random thing like, hey, I like the smell of that. I'm going to do some of that. You are not to duplicate this. You're not to attempt to duplicate it. It's unique. Okay, so God likes these. this. He wants things to come up in a smell. Uh, some people say, well, maybe that's to cover the smell of the animals burning out on the bronze altar. Uh, but I think it had to do also, or perhaps even more, with the fact that God gave us the sense of smell. God wants to activate that. There are things that are good, that are helpful for us, the healthful to be able to smell them. And having a sweet smell is something that would stand for, again, the prayers. The incense kind of stands like prayers. I mentioned a couple of mornings ago that we talk about this incense standing for prayer. Uh, there's some verses here you'd be familiar with. Psalm 141, verse 2, Luke 1, verse 10, Revelation 5, 8, and Revelation chapter 8. There's some more. These are all passages where prayer is associated with incense in the Bible. So again, I think that's a safest, safe uh, parallel to make to understand that the incense that we're reading about now has to do, it's, it's a parallel to actual prayer. It stands for that. It symbolizes that. I have a note from Hamilton's commentary here, 519. Incense prayers are prayers that lift up an aromatic fragrance to God. They are not prayers of penitence or even intercession. Prayers that activate the olfactory sense. So something that God wanted, you know, he engages our vision, he engages our ears, he engages our touch, he even engages the sense of smell. So around God's sanctuary, there would be definitely a unique kind of a sense there. Uh, what about the salt? Where does where do they get the salt? Well, again, we said they might have got it from caravaneers traveling. Salt, in many times in the history, was used almost as a as a money. Um, salt it was very important. Remember, this is a very hot, deserty environment. You've got this incense. You don't want it to go rancid. It's in a very hot environment. Adding salt was the only really serious preservative they had. And so by adding salt, they helped it to keep, keep it from going rancid. So there we have uh, a good reason for the salt and the association of the salt with covenant. It's a preservative. Finally, I just want to say this, and that is that I believe that the, the sense, the aroma that would come from this incense, it, it reminds me of the sweetness of meeting with God. The smell they must have had as they were there uh, doing God, God's service in his sanctuary. Uh, it's a sweet thing to meet with God. Yes, it's kind of solemn. It's It can be kind of a fearful thing. Oh, how many times, though, does Jesus come to people and say, do not do not fear, you know, get up, stand up. Uh, God doesn't want us to fear him. Uh, love is not perfected in fear. Uh, but here we have, it's a sweet thing to meet with God. And I believe that as God takes away our sins, it's a sweet thing. It's a precious thing that Jesus loves me enough to come and say, uh, out of all the universe, I've got all these unit stuff going on. I've got a pretty strong to-do list, Larry. But for you, you've got, we've got to take care of this sin issue. And I'm, I'm very glad to remove your sins from you right now. I want to transform your heart. I'm so glad you want to cooperate with me in that and, and, and receive all the things I want to give you. And I say, yes, that's sweet, sweet indeed. God bless you. And let's come back tomorrow morning for chapter 31. Some very interesting bits in the short chapter 31 coming up before we get to the golden calf. You might be very surprised later in chapter 31. See you tomorrow.